and let him apply that knowledge to designing boats and you come up with something pretty extraordinary. That's exactly what happened to John Walker who worked on the highly successful Beagle light aircraft that went into the car industry and designed a glass top car for the Duke of Edinburgh. He's now applied that aerodynamic knowledge to building sailing craft. John, what is the principle behind this uh, particular boat? Well, basically, I felt that we had to build a boat that did a bit more for the helmsman. That um, instead of requiring constant skilled attention, like a very early motor car, early airplane, um, was in 1968 something that had uh, some thinking processes of its own. Now you have uh, no canvas, no conventional sails. You have these five, you call them sailplanes instead. Yes. How do they work? They are indeed uh, sails in that the wind arrives from this direction, finds that the uh, sail is at an angle to it, and the wind is deflected. There is more to it than this. So there will be, we develop a lower pressure on this side than on that side, and so on. But basically, it's perfectly simply a question of putting up a, a contraption which will take a given lump of wind and extract as much energy from it as you efficiently can. So in fact, the novice could get into a boat like this and sail quite successfully without any great knowledge of, uh, of sailing techniques. Mm, this is the thing. We decided that we could, in fact, having taken the first few decisions, design a boat where you sit in a conventional helmsman's seat, you have a, a steering wheel which acts as you'd expect it to do and steers the boat to left or to right, or since it's a sailing boat, either upwind or away from the wind, um, and also have a lever which would tell the engine, as it were, how much power you wanted, whether you wanted to go slowly or fast. Now this <coughs> model is about, what, six feet long? Six feet How eight. long is the, uh, how big, in fact, overall is the full-size boat going to be? The one that we have at the other end of the shed is 24 foot nine long, and she is 18 foot six in beam, uh, in a conventional trimaran layout, although, of course, this peculiar business of having hydrofoils to hold the sail par up, the floats themselves are there as reserve and they're normally out of the water. You built this large scale model obviously to prove the design. I think we can collapse it, then perhaps we could go somewhere and actually see it sail. It could be, certainly we have designed it so that the thing will fold down, it's just like this. In full scale of course, do it with a winch, turn the little handle. In model scale, we just unhook and down she goes. Well, John, she seems to go away all right. Yes, I find her very, very lovely. I'm obviously very biased, <laughs> but certainly I don't think we're detracting from the, uh, the beauty of sailing. How much will one of those cost? Well, our first day boat, which will be uh, for f four people with a, a wrap round windscreen and perhaps a soft top, this will cost a bit under a thousand pounds. A little bit more expensive than the normal run of day boats. Uh. Well, yes, of course. There's some pretty complicated engineering involved. And when do you expect to go into production? But Certainly, I think, from the response that we have had during the course of this year. John Walker, very good luck with your boat. Thank you. <laughs>